Hello guys, this is Justin Figueroa with Thrust Flight and today we'll be talking about how to master your very first landing. So let's talk about landings, right? Uh, my very first landing, oh, let's not talk about my very first landing by myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so my very first landing, um, it was it was a process to understand. There were so many little details that went into it uh, and I feel like I just knew like an overview of it. Um, as a student, right? Everything was uh, real blurry, to say the least at first. Uh, being able to be in the air and then the wheels touched on the ground, it was totally a different experience. I remember it was actually in Mesquite, Texas, uh, at the airport over there. And I went out, um, did my lap around the pattern. Uh, each leg went, went through each one of them and was able to come down and land the plane, you know? So the first time in landing the plane, oh, the, one of the best experiences, right? Now, talking about it uh, step by step on now how to get your perfect landing from transitioning from that student being able to land for the first time to now instructing and how did I, how do you do that, right? How, what was the process and steps to make that action actually happen? Well, each part of this pattern had a process on how to do everything in particular steps to be able to actually execute a very nice soft landing. We have different legs in the pattern. It's a big rectangle around a uh, runway surface. Uh, you take off, uh, you go on the upwind. Uh, then we take the, an another leg to the left or right and it'll be a crosswind. And then we go down to the downwind, which is downwind of the actual runway itself. And then we go through a base and a final. So now let's break that down. Taking off right out of the airport, you ride on upwind, you're getting as much altitude as you, as you can. We talked about takeoff before, so we know we're trying to take off, uh, but now we're just trying to stay in a pattern to be able to start the landing process. As you uh, turn your crosswind to go across uh, towards the other side of the runway to come back in for landing, we go into the downwind. In the downwind, we have to lower our speed back down uh, so each airplane is going to have a different con configuration as far as what speed they have it at and when to put certain flaps in. But as you're going along, we're putting the flaps in, we're slowing down the aircraft, we're coming down to uh, the beam of the actual landing point. We configure it down to come down to the base and then straight on to the final. Now, what are we looking for? What, what is our perspective here on coming in to land for the very first time? Well, there's a three-step process to this. There's making sure your speed is correct, the whole entire pattern. Uh, you need to be at a certain speed so the plane doesn't just kind of slow down. And as well as that, we have coming in on final for the landing. As you're coming in, you find an aiming point. The nose of the aircraft is, that's where you want the nose of the aircraft to go and a constant descent around the pattern. As you come in, and you get above your aiming point, you want to transition your aircraft flat above the runway. As you're flat above the runway, then there's that third transition part where you're now pulling on the yoke very slightly and keeping your eyes at the very end of the runway and being able to pull back so slightly that the back wheels of the aircraft now touch. And then all of a sudden you hear a squeaking sound on the wheels. That is that perfect landing that you will have as soon as you follow these steps. So just like you and I, uh, we had to get in the plane for the very first time. There is that, that little sense of fear of, man, this is a landing. I'm doing this by myself. I'm in the plane. I had to land it on the two wheels on the ground. I, I completely understand. There, there's a, that, that sense of it may not be safe, but with an instructor uh, that leads you to the steps and getting you to the ground, it becomes so much easier. You, the understanding behind the aircraft, the understanding about the sounds it makes, this understanding about the airspeed, everything just starts to click. So when you go out there, just try to relax, try to have a good time, and know that one day, soon enough, you will be a pilot as well. Okay guys, uh, if you want a more detailed video on how to master landings, just click on this video up above.